Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video on my channel, Hair Liciousy. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so that you guys are updated on hair loss and hair transplant topics, as well as updates on current hair loss treatments in the pipelines. Visit my website at hairliciousy.com to purchase a micro needle device, which is scientifically proven to stimulate hair growth. My low level laser therapy cap, the HD Bacchini shampoo, conditioner and serum, hair growth vitamins, and a few other products to help those who are losing hair. So today's video is going to cover micro needling for the treatment of hair loss. Uh, you guys are probably well aware that I am a big advocate when it comes to the use of microneedling to stimulate hair growth. I've talked about it numerous times on my channel and in my videos. I still feel like it's a very underrated treatment in the hair loss community. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of scientific studies and growing evidence over recent years that show microneedling is beneficial in promoting hair growth. There's a lot of crazy, you know, before and after transformations from people who weren't seeing any results with the standard hair loss treatment protocol or from the big three treatment, finasteride, nizor shampoo, minoxidil. But once they incorporated microneedling into their hair loss treatment regimen, you know, they saw tremendous improvement in density and hair count. Um, I'm not gonna reference any studies in this video because I've covered this topic quite a bit. And if you guys want to get more scientific and dive more into some of the studies, I will put a few links in the description box below for those who want to read about it and learn more about, you know, microneedling's efficacy in helping promote and stimulate hair growth. So I actually want to talk about another form of microneedling that you guys might not be aware of. The most common ones that we see is the derm roller, such as this one here. Uh, typically, they range anywhere from 192 to 540 stainless or titanium needles. I don't recommend the 540 needles because those rollers don't actually use real needles. And they're shaped in a way where the needles are actually triangular. So it's gonna penetrate deeper into the scalp. It's gonna cause more superficial tearing. However, the 192 needle thermal roller actually uses 192 individual needles that are uniform in diameter. So the wounding that it creates, no matter how deep it goes into the scalp, um, it's going to remain the same. So you're not gonna get the additional superficial tearing other than the wounding from the needles itself. The other common ones we see is the Dr. Pen A6, such as this one here. Um, Dr. Pen also has a wide variety of similar micro needle devices, but the model that I use is the A6. Some people use something known as the Therminator, which is also similar and is another variation of the motorized micro needle device. The one that I have not talked about on my channel is the Derma Stamp. I actually had a few people who reached out who wanted me to cover a video on this. So here's the video. And basically the Derma Stamp is a manually used micro needle device and it has needles on the head. Instead of it actually being uh, rolled on the scalp like a derma roller, users basically stamp the device vertically onto the scalp to create wounding. The number of needles um, varies from each derma stamp to another, but the one that I have has 140 medical grade stainless steel needles and I'll show you guys in a minute here. I don't know if you guys can see right there but these are all of the needles on the head. And this one actually has 140 uh, stainless steel medical grade needles on the head. It comes in this nice package, sterile packaging, which I just actually took out. Um, and when you first open and use it, you know, there are some people that try to sterilize this using isopropyl alcohol, but you don't really have to do that. So you guys can actually see the needles um, on the head, 14 by 10s for a total of 140 needles. The nice thing about this derma stamp is that it actually has an adjustable dial right here at the top for different needle lengths uh, going anywhere from zero to three millimeters. Not all derma stamps are gonna have this option and this is actually useful since you're able to choose the exact specification. Most people stick with 1.5 um, when they're using it for treating hair loss, but you guys can actually use this on the face, you know, let's say 0.25 or even 5, 0.5 millimeters. And also if you weren't too comfortable uh, using 1.5 straight off the bat, you guys can adjust it and, you know, start with one millimeter and work your way up in increments of 0.25 which is pretty nice, all without having to buy a separate derma stamp because of its adjustable feature. So I'm actually gonna do a quick demonstration on how to use a derma stamp on the scalp. Um, it's super easy and very simple. Before you start any micro needling session, make sure to start on a clean canvas, meaning you know wash your hair with shampoo to get rid of all the sebum and oils that are embedded in the pores. So in my case, I actually have moderate length hair, so I'm gonna have to part the hairs to get better access to the scalp. Um, usage is pretty simple. 
um, just stamp this device firmly onto your scalp. I'm gonna actually set it to 1.5. So I don't know if you guys can see right there. It's actually set at 1.5 and it tells you um, there's that little triangular thing that indicates which needle length that it's at. And then you're basically just going to firmly stamp the device onto the scalp on areas that are thinning and miniaturizing. So, you know, something like this. And make sure that you're giving enough pressure to embed the needles into the scalp. Um, I actually recommend stamping a given area about 10 times, which is equivalent to about 1400 micro wounds. If you guys are familiar with Folica, their recommended protocol is about 1600 needle wounds per centimeter squared. Based on most studies on micro needling, they don't really specify the exact number of rolls or stamps per given area. So we actually don't know exactly um, what the recommended usage is. And there are other studies that vaguely say that we just need to achieve erythema or pinpoint bleeding. But I think stamping it around somewhere around the ballpark of what Folica recommends should be a good reference to start with. And it is enough to induce erythema or pinpoint bleeding at the minimum. Um, like I said, it's very easy to use. It's very non-invasive. And basically, um, you can see how easy it is. And the thing that I like about this thermo stamp is that it's super light. I think that it might even be lighter than a thermo roller. And the other thing that I noticed is that the needles are much more thinner in diameter compared to a doctor pen or even a thermo roller, which actually makes it far less painful. It's definitely less painful than a thermo roller or a doctor pen. I know that some people try to use some type of numbing cream like lidocaine. Uh, but I'm telling you that you guys won't need it for a thermal stamp because the needles are so thin. I can probably even bump this up to like a 2.0 millimeter without um, feeling much pain. But let me just do another quick demonstration. So here's my scalp. You guys can see um, it is getting a little red and I'm actually using enough uh, pressure to make sure that the needles are penetrating. So um, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is actually 1.5. And all you have to do is work on the thinning areas. So basically about 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, I don't know if it's bleeding or not, but it's a slight pricking, very endurable. Same thing here, move on to the next section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And you can almost hear kind of like this crunching sound um, that's when all the needles are actually going into the scalp. Um, you can definitely see erythema there. I don't know if there's pinpoint bleeding. I don't have a, um, a piece of paper or tissue to wipe down. But let me just go ahead and do just one more area here on the temporal point. Six. Yeah, I mean, it stings a little bit, but it's nothing that's too painful. And you can definitely see that there is a lot of redness right there. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So overall, you know, great device. I love the fact that this is adjustable. Um, needles are much thinner in diameter, which makes it less, far less painful. And it's definitely cheaper than a motorized device. In comparison to a thermal roller, I would definitely choose a thermo stamp because it doesn't cause any superficial tearing and cut like wounds, which can be ineffective for neogenesis. I will say that though, um, that a thermal roller uh, is able to cover more extensive areas a lot quicker than a thermo stamp, but also it's easier to use a thermo stamp if you have longer hair, since a thermo roller can actually tangle up the hairs and pull it out. Uh, but anyway, this specific one, like I mentioned, is adjustable. So there's also no need to purchase separate ones um, if you do need one at a certain needle length, like you have to with a thermal roller, which comes at a fixed needle length. So you're gonna need you know, several ones of these if you guys wanna do it from different needle lengths. Now, with that said, both the thermal stamp and the thermal roller need to be replaced at some point because the needles are going to get dull after a few uses. I typically recommend you guys to replace it um, after about four to five uses. It really depends on how much you are using and how big of an area you guys are um, using per session. But usually four to five uses will dull or even bend the needles. And I highly recommend that you guys change it out to prevent any damage that can happen from using blunt or bent needles. In comparing the Derma stamp to the Dr. Pen or any motorized device, 
Uh, both devices are done vertically, which means that there are, you know, you don't have to worry about superficial tearing. However, a motorized device is much more consistent. And when you're microneedling manually, there can be different pressures that are exerted on the scalp, which means even if you set the needle at a specified length, um, a thermal stamp and even a thermal roller may not always penetrate fully at the desired needle length of choice. But overall, you know, these are three of the main micro needle devices that are used to treat hair loss. They all come with their pros and cons. If I were to rate all three, you know, I would definitely choose the Dr. Pen first or a, you know, motorized device. And then I would stick with the thermal stamp and then the roller. Great devices, and I highly recommend for those who have not yet tried microneedling into the hair loss treatment regimen. There's a good possibility that if you guys were to pair up microneedling with minoxidil and even something like tretinoin to increase absorption, um, it can greatly improve hair count and hair density. And like I said earlier, you know, there's plenty of studies that back up its efficacy in helping with hair growth. So if you haven't, I definitely recommend that you guys give it a try. It's very non-invasive. There's no side effects other than, you know, temporary redness or erythema or even pinpoint bleeding. It only requires you that you guys do this once a week at a length of 1.5. So that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments in the comment section below and let me know which micro needling device that you guys are using and how it's been working out for you. I know for a fact that not everybody is going to micro needle at a length of 1.5 millimeter. Some stick with you know, something in the lower range of one millimeter. Um, I've seen people who bump it up to two millimeters. There are others who use 0.5 every day in addition to microneedling at a longer needle length. It really depends on your scalp's thickness as well. And sometimes, you know, you just kind of have to experiment and see what works and what doesn't. But thanks for all of your support, guys. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Take care.